today we will discuss cupola what is a cupola cupola is used to melt cast iron basically in order to obtain good casting the pouring and melting temperature of metal used should be proper so for melting the metals cupola furnace is used description of cupola so in description we discuss the main parts of cupola first one is cell next one is foundation tires wind belt blower slag hole charging door chimney or stack so these are the main parts of cupola and in next slide we will discuss in detail main parts of cupola first one is cell cell is a vertical and cylindrical in shape so this is two verticals ro uh, road this is the steel cell it is made with steel sheet 6 to 12 mm thick and lined inside with refractory bricks and clay refractory bricks and clay used for cupola lining consist of silica oxide and alumina that is al2o3 cupola diameter varies from 1 to 2 meters and cupola height is 4 to 6 times the diameter next part is foundation the cell is mounted either on brick wax foundation or on steel column these are the foundation which is consisting of steel column this is brick foundation so here the bottom of cell consists of drop bottom door so these are the drop bottom door so basically the main purpose of using the drop bottom door through which debris consisting of coke slag etc can be discharged at the end of a melting tires so as we know for the combustion of fuel we need air so air for combustion of fuel is delivered through the tires so these are the tires which are mounted in steel cell tires are provided at the height of uh, between 0.6 to 1.2 meters above the working bottom next is wind belt air is delivered to the tires from a wind belt which is a steel plate duct so wind box is mounted on the outer cell of the cupola this is the wind box through which air is supplied to the tires next one is blower a high pressure fan or blower supplies the air to the wind belt through the blast pipe or wind box so this is air blast inlet which is connected with wind box and through this air blast inlet air is supplied with the help of blower to the wind box and from wind box to the tires and this air is is used for combustion of fuel next is slag hole it is located at a level about 250 mm below the centers of the tires so this is the location of slag hole basically the main purpose of using the slag hole is to remove the slag from the cupola furnace next part is charging door it is situated 3 to 4 meters above the tires so this is the charging door through which fuel coke flux are fed into the furnace so these are metal coke and flux outside the cupola furnace and through charging door these are supplied to the combustion chamber of the cupola 
so here the black color that shows the coke pink color indicate flux and blue color indicate metal so now we can see how the charging door is used to supply the coke flux and metal into the combustion chamber of cupola furnace so here these are the layers layer of coke flux and metals so this is the arrangement and this is the way in which metal flux and coke is supplied through the charging door to the cupola furnace next word is chimney or stack the cell is usually continued for 4 to 5 meters above charging door to form a chimney or stack so as we can see the steel cell is extended beyond the charging door and this is the spark arrestor now we will discuss various types of zone at various stages in cupola one by one first one is melting zone this zone starts from the top of the coke bed and extend up to a height of 900 mm so this is the metal charge and this is coke bed now the melting zone that is shown with the help of arrow this is the melting zone and generally the temperature in melting zone that is approximate about 1600 degree celsius at this zone this is the highest temperature and the reaction that will take place in this melting zone that is three molecules of iron plus two carbon monoxide molecules react and finally we get the iron carbide fe3c plus carbon dioxide next zone is the combustion zone in combustion zone the location of combustion zone is normally 150 to 300 mm above the top of the tires so as we can see this is combustion zone and the reaction that are taking place in combustion zone that is carbon react with oxygen and we get the carbon dioxide plus heat next one silicon plus oxygen that we get silicon oxide and heat next one is two molecules of manganese plus oxygen finally we get manganese oxide and heat and last one is iron react with the oxygen and finally we get iron oxide and heat so in combustion zone basically heat is evolved in this zone because of this following oxidation processes next zone is reducing zone so this is the zone that is basically starts from the top of the combustion zone and extend up to the top of coke bed so this is the reducing zone and in reducing zone the reduction of carbon dioxide to carbon monoxide occurs and temperature drops to about 1200 degree celsius and the reaction that will take place in particular zone that is carbon dioxide plus coke finally we get carbon monoxide and here we can see there is a reduction of heat next part is crucible zone this is the zone in which basically molten metal that is placed and it is between the top of the sand bed and the bottom of the tires this is the sand bottom and it is this crucible zone also known as well another name of this zone is the well and basically the molten metal accumulates here in this particular zone so this is the molten metal we can see next zone is preheating zone as a name suggest preheating zone it starts from the top of the melting zone and extend up to the charging door so this is the location of preheating zone and it is also called charging zone 
and charging materials are fed in this zone and get preheated so all the charging materials like we can say metals flux and coke these are also supplied through this zone and the last zone in this cupola furnace is stack zone basically it starts from the charging zone and extend up to the cupola and this is the stack zone and basically in this zone the gases generated with in the ferments are carried to the atmosphere by this zone so today we have learned about what is cupola main parts of cupola by the description of cupola and the various types of the zones in cupola at various temperature ranges and in our next video we will discuss cupola operation its advantages and disadvantages also subscribe to get more updates and more video on mechanical topics and universe double two you may also like its facebook page www.facebook.com and universe double two you may share this video among your friends and students you can ask your queries by commenting give your suggestions if required thank you have a nice day